Guten Morgen! It's opening day at Heimtextel 2011. My partner in crime and I, Warren Schulberg, are going over to Hall 11, which uh, was new last year. It's kind of the home of the European high design exhibitors here at the show. One of the new color stories that we did see at Heimtex is kind of a muted uh, earth tones. So uh, here at PAD, an Australian company, we're seeing muted oranges and greens and, uh, and earth tone kind of colors in a variety of textures and patterns. We see stripes, we see uh, tufted products, and I think this represents a new color story that uh, we may see more of this year. Leave it to the Aussies to come up with the best color story at Heimtex. At Kaz, brights and patterns were certainly the stars, and uh, this particular bedding pattern wraps up a lot of trends that are at Heimtex, from uh, bright colors to uh, uh, interesting floral prints and a lot of mix of patterns. While the presence of European fashion companies is certainly diminished from Heimtex of old, Portugal remains a bastion of design and fashion in the textile area, and at the Portuguese Trend Pavilion, we saw a lot of uh, directional color and pattern stories, including a fair amount of neutrals, uh, some grays, and a lot of embroidery, which of course has always been a specialty of Portugal. Neutrals remain an important story in color, particularly in the bath area, and at Sausa Dias from Portugal, there was a wonderful display of neutrals and monochromatic towels with wonderful dobby treatments. Note the embroideries, the uh, detailed dobbies, and the attention to texture, which remains uh, always a, an important detail to see at Hantex. It's late in the morning on the first day, not all that late, and traffic is looking actually, I think, pretty decent here in Hall 11. So thank you for watching today's report, and please check in with us tomorrow.